My family originated from Dikranagird, Armenia, and they immigrated to Aleppo, Be where Syria, and um, Beirut, Lebanon. My family wasn't able to preserve a lot of artifacts, but they were able to get some rugs that were native to Dikranagird. A lot of my family was able to escape from the Armenian genocide. Um, however, my great-grandfather's father was captured by the Turkish government and he was imprisoned. Um, my great-grandfather tried to visit his father in jail, but he was spotted by the Turkish government and he started to run from rooftop to rooftop. He then hid in a chimney for days and when he came out, he saw that most of the region was no longer there. Um, he was found by the Turkish government, but then he was able to escape and survive. The Armenian genocide affected my family because we no longer live in our home country. We live in the diaspora, and my family lost a lot of their wealth and their family members during the genocide. Me and my family, we remember the past by stories that have been passed on, and the main difficulty we face trying to remember this is that most of the eyewitnesses of the genocide have passed away. I see myself helping our community with raising awareness about Armenia and the Armenian Genocide and justice should be served by the recognition of the Armenian Genocide and return of our lands. To preserve our culture, it's important to attend the Armenian school and take part in the Armenian community and attend the Armenian church. We can continue to speak our language and practice our traditions. Even though most of the genocide survivors have passed away, it is important that my voice is heard so I can pass on their story and make sure that justice is served.